We're the same from J. We're the same, bro. We're the same people, then what we saying? Real good, real good. What we saying? Hope everyone's good, bro. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, man. Love my bro, love, love, love. Yannick, hey Yannick, wait, before I start this, Yannick, hey, we need to get Yannick, brother. After this, I'm gonna message you, because you really need to jump on this thing, hey. Deep it, like you doing all your football stuff, football stuff, come and talk to me, hey. Yeah, yeah, come and talk to me, yeah, yeah. Hey. Nah, hey, whoever ain't seen Yannick's thing, though, we move, though. It's hard still. Big up all the young ones that's coming on and doing their skills and that. Get me. Big up Zavon in the building. I see you. I see you. But Yannick, Yannick, let this be, Yannick, let this be the last time, Yannick, that I'm going to tell you to come on this thing, Yannick. Hey. But we moved, though. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for my guest. I don't. I don't think he's on yet. But uh, uh, Yannick, uh, we're gonna chop it. We're gonna chop it up, Yannick. After this, we we're gonna really chop it up. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna really chop it up. We're gonna really chop it up after this. Say nothing. Hey, Yannick, we'll see. Ra 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 ra. Hold on, let me see if I guess this here, bro. Uh, someone, someone send the thing to um, Junior. Let him know that we're on right now. Congo DRC, huh? Congo DRC. Now nah, listen, whoever's been going to the protest and that, protesting and that, marching and that, stay safe. You get me. Do your thing, stay safe, you get me? Spread the word, spread the message, but get me, no looting and all them things there, like. Let the voices of the hundreds and thousands and even, God willing, millions be heard, you get me? That's the way we're gonna move forward. Get me? But yeah, I, 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 someone tell Junior that we're on. I don't know, I think you're just chilling. But I hope, listen, I hope everyone's good. Oh, big guess, oh yeah, big guess, big guess, big guess. I might even talk with a few people after this still later on at night about what's going on. But let me just see if I can get Junior on this thing. Big up Snips Brody that from knee high, you know. No, man still plays ball, but man's not there, you get me? Man's not there. Man's not at the heights, you get me? I was there, but you get me? Calm down. But it's life, we move, man. I don't know who has the same blood. I'm happy to found you, bro. Have the same blood. Like, what blood are you talking about? This is not Twilight Zone. This is not Twilight Zone. Like, I don't know where you're from. The English is a bit mad. This is not Twilight Zone. Like, what, what blood have you got? Eh, you think I'm a vampire? <laughs> hey, you guys mad, you know. Well, this is not Twilight. You say you got the same blood. Oh, Paya! <laughs> <laughs> what 
coaching. We said, we're just there. You good? I'm good, man. I'm good. How's the family? How's the kids in there? Blessed, bro. Oh, blessed. No, that's good. How about yours? No, everyone, everyone's good, man. Everyone's good. Family's good. You know, can't complain. You know, everyone's alive and well, keeping safe and that. You get me? That's Maintaining. Good. That's it. What you been up to, man? Talk to us. <laughs> Surviving like everyone, bro. Mm. Lockdown ain't easy, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Garden time with the family and all them things there. Just trying to keep my head down, man. Learn new things, you know. Use cool. the time. Of course, now nah, now is the time. How's it been though with them, um, the kids at home and because uh, obviously you play ball, so you you still get time with them. But how's it been twenty four? Nah, nah, it's different, <laughs> bro. It's different. Like you have to use the time, man. Obviously, yeah. where you play kickball regularly, you go training. You spend most of the day at training, then you come home and you got a little piece of time with them. Of course, of course. When you're there, really, you see, you see what the real mum's been doing. So, mm. fair garden time, trying to help out where I can. Mm. It's different, bro. No, what about you? No, yeah, you know, like obviously, little one comes in, and then I take him out to play football. Obviously, our season's not coming, but I think the season's cancelled. So, yeah, just more time with him, really, going park, playing football, linking Good up. Doing it, yeah. Different time, like you wouldn't usually get that time. So, no, of course not. Be grateful, man. Yeah, we have to be grateful and just. Use use the time that we got. You get me with them, like you said. We play football. We're, we're up and down, traveling, staying overnight, and all these things. But it's good. Do you know? I wanted to say for the people that don't know you, like that. Also, they know you through football and everything. Tell them a bit about yourself and where you grew up and how you started playing ball. Uh, um, yeah. So obviously, played for Bournemouth. Now, um, grew up in South London, born in Lewisham, um, lived in Ferry Estate for majority of my life and just same as everyone man just kicking ball in the ends with mandem and playing in cage and 1v1s and mm. knockouts and them games there um played little tournaments sunday league stuff and then just got picked up when i was about 10 i went to west ham from there and just went all the way through from there man yeah how was it what was it like when you got picked up what was the youth like youth system like at west ham because you I was good man yeah you were like, the best one of the best i swear yeah, man, it was good, man. It was enjoyable, you know. Obviously, you know, Bonds and yeah. Ant and them yeah. boys there, so and just used to travel in on the train with them, man, sometimes and catch jokes after school. But there in the system, there is good because it's like it's a famous academy, and a lot of players come through there. Um, so he felt always felt special. One of them clubs that is a special club to grow up in. Um, good fans and all of that stuff. So yeah, when you go through there man, it's it's special. But then when you when you, you, you make your debut and that in the first team, it's special yeah. man. Special player, special club. How was it how was it for you and the fam obviously coming through the ranks of the youth system and finally getting your um debut and that how how was it? What did it mean to you and to the yeah, special man, it means everything bruv. You know when you work for something your whole life. Yeah. Um and then finally like all your work has come come to pass man. So yeah, it was good, man. I was lucky enough to score my debut as well. So, and imagine all the stadium full up. I spotted my two brethren in the crowd. <laughs> all stadium, I knew where they were. So, mm. yeah, man, it was special, but it was special. But still young, you know. So, I was 19, 18, 18, 19, something like that. So, those those moments when you play, make your debut, score, you never forget that, man. It's special. No, of course not. And you started you started to play regularly for West Ham. How was it? From now, when you was like young, when you first come through playing football with like really, you got no pressure really. Your youngster coming through, so it's more like go and do your things. To now, how the game has changed into numbers and all these things. Because how would you compare the difference? Would you say football's more of a number game now? Obviously, as the people that set the heights for scoring goals and assists and all these things. Yeah, it seems like it, you know. I think when you're young, like you say, there's no pressure, there's no fears. It's just literally just playing ball, man. Yeah. Obviously, when you when you first start playing, um, you know you have to make an impact because you yeah. want to stay in the team. You know you've got things riding on it, but it's just enjoyable, isn't it? It's just football. Just play football, yeah. enjoy it. And that's what we did. Whereas now, I say, obviously, probably since the Messi's and Ronaldo's come around, it's goal after goal after goal. And then people are looking, how many goals has he scored? How many assists? So now I think it's more a numbers game. Um, but I think it always kind of been, you kind of always had to have done something. If you're not scoring, you're not assisting as an attacking player. What yeah. are you doing? 
you know what I mean? So everyone gets judged, definitely, man. Nah, that's cool. And um, like you had some great moments at West Ham. Can you tell us like some of your best moments you had at West Ham before moving on? My best one, my best one was probably my debut, man. Because yeah. like I said, um, well, my debut was like I made my debut on a Monday night, but like I come off the bench, so yeah. like half hour. Um, and then I started on the weekend, and then I scored on the weekend. We won two 0 against Sunderland, um, so that was probably my best one because you know when you're young and you're watching match of the day and you're growing yeah. up and you want to score, and obviously it happened. So that was probably the most special moment. But all of them, man, I enjoyed all of them. Playing for Zola was manager at the time, so he gave me my debut. Um, playing with playing with good players all the time. Um, yeah, but that was probably the standout moment. I say the first, the first goal. But I scored some good goals in there, um, important goals as well. But that one stands out. No, that's big. That's big. Like you said, you had the, you had a um, good youth system there, and you had a couple big players that come up with you. Like, what was the players? What was the other players that broke through the ranks as well? At, around about the same time as you? I say within the space of uh, two years either side. Um, you had James Tompkins in there. You had Jack Collison, Zavon Hines. Jordan Spence, Bonzangala, Anthony Edgar, Freddie Sears. Freddie Sears was one of the first ones. Um, I might even be forgetting someone. I don't want to. I don't <laughs> want to take liberties, but there was a lot, you know. That, that that's the special thing about West Ham. It always gave uh, opportunities to the younger players. So you knew when you see if I was seeing uh, Tonks or Collison playing, I knew my path weren't far away when yeah. Freddie played. Likewise, when I played, people would have been looking at me saying, "Ah, oh, I've been playing with him. So, you know, I mean, the path was always there. Mm. So, it was a good club to be at, man. Like, for, for, like you said, you grew up in Lewisham and that. For, for you to be so focused and so disciplined, it must have been hard because, like, you know, like, boys like us all coming from London, sometimes we can get distracted. How was it? How, how did you manage to focus and keep yourself, you know, on a straight narrow path. You know what? There was a few different things, you know. I think three things. One, um, I'm quite, um, I can be quite stubborn. And yeah. if I got some, if I'm focused on something, that's my focus. That's it. And football was my love. So I always had that. Um, my mum, my mum like brought me up pretty much on her own. Yeah. So no matter when I was out with Mandem or whatever, she told me, come home at this time. I was there. It was just respect for her. Like, mm -hmm. Didn't ever want to let her down. And the third one, so you know how it is growing up in London. I had enough friends. But the friends I had, like I said, I was always strong-minded myself. But the friends I had, they're proper friends, you know what I mean? They're like, choice of a party or you got a game the next day. They was telling me, nah, go home, man. You got a game the next day. You yeah. know what I mean? So I had good friends as well. I, did, I had, we all know the kind of friends. I had yeah. those kind of friends, but I also had... Friends that's in there, but there was like, yeah, you know what, go on, man, you got a game, man, you got more important things. So I had good people around me, man. No, I think, and I think for friends and family, I think that's good people to have around you because you know how it is sometimes as youngsters, like some people might say, no, it's calm, man, you're just going to be there for like an hour, two hours, and that, you get me, then you get dragged into something, then you know, you have a, you have a stink of a game the next day, and that, but no, it's always good to have friends that will say, listen, bro, stay at home, you got a game. Mm. It was good. But also, man, by the grace of God, bruv, I always, don't get twisted, like I was in some of them parties and yeah, yeah. around some of those things and things did happen, but I was always, I don't know, man, God guided me all the way through all of that stuff. So I'm here now for, because I could, life, you never know where life takes you, innit? you could end up somewhere else, man. I've got enough friends that's in different places where they shouldn't be right now, but wrong place, wrong time. No, oh, hey. By the grace of God, man. And um, I was just going to touch up on that with your religious, the religious part. And I've, I've known for quite a while you're quite religious. Like, has it been in the family since young? Or was it something that you... you yeah, My mum, man. My yeah. mum brought me up in that, yeah. yeah. Like, it was just me and her for a while. Like, we was travelling and that. But she always used to read Bible to me and, and mm. try to install it. And obviously, as I got older, I still mess up regularly, bruv. Regular. Yeah. But I kind of got a bit more knowledge and this lockdown has been doing very reading, researching and just trying to grow, man. Those are the real important things in life. Because that's, that's like me as well. When I was playing football, 
I used to go regularly on a Sunday to church and that. But see, as you get older, like you start to miss a Sunday, then you miss the next two Sundays, three then, Sundays. And you think, wow, man just missed church and that. But then I became so used to it that bro, man did, like man stopped going to church. But what it is like like the same with your mum, like she used to she used to read me the Bible and all these things. Then as I got older, I got back in touch with, you know, <clears throat> um going to church, you know, reading the Bible more often, you get me, I'm into meditating and all these things. And I just thought, bro, like I missed out on not all them years, but a couple of years not going to church, getting to know myself, getting to know God and that. But I feel like as as I got older, I'm more in touch with um the spiritual side of things and uh, I think it's made me a better person as well as I've got older. So yeah man. Yeah, cool. It's the mature the mature maturity side of it, isn't it? Like <laughs> we think young, we are ah, tomorrow, tomorrow, we got time. Time is on our side, but you never know what happens, man. You never know what happens. That's why this lockdown has been good for me, if I'm yeah. being honest. Obviously, I miss playing ball, same as everyone else. Uh, but, you know, when you've got more time on your hands, when you're at war, you can easily put off reading or yeah, cool. real learning. But when you had this time to settle yourself down, it's it's good, man. It's been helpful to me. No, that's that's big. I hear that. I was going to say, like, in every... Not in every, because I don't know everyone, but in everyone's journeys, there's there's always a there's a dark place or injury or something that occurred have you ever been through that dark dark bro when you're talking about injuries bro, how much time you got oh yeah oh. how much time you got Forget it, yeah. <laughs> too many man especially the last few years bro, I've, I've had left knee injury right hamstring injury mm. just injuries that you know, when you get yourself going and you're in a rhythm, you're in a rhythm and then it just knocks you off your rhythm. All of a sudden, you're out for six months. And... Months, yeah. Yeah, those things happen, man. They're part of life. But, yeah, don't make it easy, man. But, uh, yeah, you just... There's not much you can do about it. Literally, when you get the injury, you've got to go through them times, man. You're in the no. gym on your own and mm. you're working longer hours, but always with the, the end goal of trying to get back on the pitch and help the team and, and do yourself justice as well. No, I hear that. I hear that. And through that, I was talking, I think I was talking to Marvin Harewood when I said, you know, with football, you get a lot of help. There's a lot of people helping you from the uh, physios, sports scientists. You, you get you get everything in football. But one thing I, I said to him, and he said, that's a good question, is that you get all the physical side when you see when you're injured. Mm -hmm. when, but do you get the mental side to how to keep strong? Someone talking to you or meeting someone like um what's their names i forgot their names the people yeah, psychologists or something. yeah 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 do you know what we got those people you know yeah. we, it's a good little setup at bournemouth if i'm being honest we got them people but still man our gym is literally looks out onto the training pitch so when you're in the gym and you're injured and it's raining and you just want to be out there kicking and you can see games going on and <laughs> fun and nah them times are hard man but that's what i mean you gotta be strong you gotta just know day by day you're, you're coming towards getting back out there. You know what I mean? Mm, no, that's big. And how, and how are you now? How's the body and how are you feeling right now? Body's good, man. Basically, we're in pre-season now, isn't it? So oh, yeah. Body's tired, but it's good. It's good. It's healthy. It's healthy. No, that's good. So you, you, you've been you've been back in, though, innit? You've been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in, we're, it... in. we're working, man. We're working. It's been good. It's been good. It's been tough, but it's been good, man. You've been training like, um... or you're training collectively now as a group? Now we're collectively. Mm. Like we've we've done the the first phase, which is like small groups, social distancing. Now we're like team stuff. You still gotta keep your distance, but when you're playing games and that, you can you can play your games normally. No, that's big. That's big. I wanted to take it away from football. So when Junior's not playing football, when he's got time with the family, or when, for example, when the season's over, what does Junior like doing? Obviously, everyone likes going away on holiday, but what what do you get up to? your time off and yeah now yeah and obviously with the kids i got i got two and then i got two eight year olds so now it's um it's them man when when season's done it's holiday time like mm. away and spending time with them doing that sort of stuff play on a saturday come sunday one of my boys plays ball so traveling to his games and things like that mm. um yeah man it's mainly football you know it's mainly yeah. football bro. it's literally life revolves around football play ball Weekend, watch little man play ball, uh, mm. kick ball in a garden with them, um, and then when it comes to summer holidays, just spending time on holiday and just doing normal stuff, man. 
Nah, that's good. That's big. That's big. I was, I was gonna get in touch. In what's your style when it comes to clothes and music and that? What what type of music you listen to? What? You know what? If you would have asked me this question, yeah, about a month ago, two months ago, I'm fully meat mill styles p <laughs> jada kiss these are all my guys bro old school <laughs> old school but i like meek i mess with meek right now but since this lockdown i'm into gospel music and all of this stuff bro. Wow. completely switch it off switch it up wow. i love that i love that i love that what's one of, what's one of your favorite gospel artists that you oh you know what I'm not going to lie, I'm not too familiar with the artist, you know. I just go on Apple Play and just, and just type in gospel and let it go. Uh, let I'm it. not there yet, I'm not there yet, I'm still learning. When it comes to clothes, when, when, um, clothes are not everything, obviously. That, you all know we're on lockdown, so clothes don't mean nothing to us right now. There's more important things going on in the world. But I know mm -hmm. everyone has their little here and then, little bits in there and then. What's your goal to you? Are you a tracky man or do you like... Suit? I'm a tracky man. I'm, yeah. If I'm going into training... I'm in night tracksuit every single day. Jordan's night tracksuit, day in, day out. But if I'm going out or something like that with team nights or out with my brethren, it's, it's normal, man. Like, Dior kicks right now and, <laughs> and Mary jeans and, and a tee. That's me. But I'm, do you know what? Like I said, I'm in transition, bro, because yeah. right now I could care less about all of that stuff mm. and watches and like I've, had that got that doesn't mean nothing to me anymore man there's bigger things to me right now no nah, so... nah, i think that's more young 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 when i was younger i was into that stuff but now <laughs> no, I'm really into it, now man. when you was younger i remember i remember saying you had the you had the big puffer like like dng thing you know when the dng had the the plat thing yeah when i was young i was <laughs> i was into it man i was into it but the, the older i get i just see things clearer man more important things to life than things yeah. like that, man. Oh, real, real talk, real talk. So obviously, you left. You left West Ham. Was like anyone will be upset, like because you was there from a kid and that. How, how do you feel when it was time to move on? Do you know what? Um, that was that was tough because, like I said, I was playing under Zola regularly. Mm. Um, then Avram came in. And I had a couple of injuries, but when I was fit, I was playing as well. Um, and... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Yeah, but I knew um, transition was coming, you know, different yeah. styles of play and, and, <clears throat> and things like that. So I had to go into his office. I think I went into his office and said, I need to go because I need to play. Like, I've got kids coming. I just want to play. And I've been playing now. I'm used to playing, so I need to play. He's like, you ain't going anywhere. We need you here. Wow. And I was like, ah, yeah, all right, let me let me stay. I need to like ride it out and come in or whatever. Then I had conversations with agents and friends and I was like, nah, do you know what? I went back to his office same week. I said, nah, I have to go, man. I need to play. Like, I need to be playing regularly. It's more important than like being in and out because this time I'm still kind of young, but at the same time, I'm used to playing now. So yeah. I just want to play. Mm. Um. And he was like, ah, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And then he was like, no, nah, actually, you can't. Like, we need you here. And then we played one game. He, eventually, like, the next week, he said, all right, I'll, if something comes in, I'll entertain it. We'll look at it. And then we played a Carling Cup game, a League Cup. Back then, I think it was Carling Cup. Um, and I played out of position. I played centre mid, but I scored. Good goal. Top bin. Cut inside. Whoop. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my days. He ain't going to let me go now. Mm. <laughs> he ain't gonna let me go but then I went to his office and he spoke and he was like ah, do you know what I will, will keep it like that so he <laughs> let me go in the end went to Burnley had three years there um, obviously started with Eddie Howe and then the manager changed um, and then when he came down here he brought me down here as well no, that was big obviously being in London for a very very long time was like moving up <laughs> Cold, bruv. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Have you been up to Burnley before? I've been, not Burnley, but like, you know, the Wigan sides, all them, all them sides. Oh, let me tell you, even Manchester is cold, yeah, but when you transition from Manchester to Burnley, it's mad. 
I used to live in Manchester, innit? So yeah. when I used to drive into Burnley, bro, we used to go over this hill. When you come down, the clouds, the sky is grey instantly. <laughs> Burnley is grey all year round, but no sun. No sun in Burnley. <laughs> it was good though, you know what? It was yeah. good. It was good this experience and it, it was well, good oh, different. Oh, it just looks like it's gonna rain and that. Just bruv, if you come from Manchester and the sun's shining, you drive over this hill and it's cloudy, it's done. Rain, cloud, that's it, bruv. How long was how long was um manager at the time, um um Eddie at um Burnley at the time? Uh, he was there. He was there for like half the time because I was there for three years. So he was there for just over a year, maybe eighteen months. Yeah. And then Sean Dykes took over, and I was there with him for about eighteen months as well. What and then that? after that was done, then come down here. What was he like? I heard he's um he's on this running, not running thing, but he's on this train hard thing. That who Sean Dykes? Yeah, he's cool, man. It's it's you know what it is. It's different. Um. So we train at Bournemouth, we train hard, bro. Yeah. If you if you ask around, we train hard, like run, but most things is with the ball. Yeah. Um, whereas there, it's a bit of both. They do play ball, like it's not as direct as you think it would be, mm. but they run. They really run there. So so it's different, two different things. But obviously people that like playing with the ball, uh, it's more enjoyable when you're playing games and keep balls and, and all yeah. that kind of stuff, isn't it? What's 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 your one like you you good you you up there with the with the yeah, I'm alright, you know. My body's not too old yet. I can run, <laughs> I can run, I can run. Nah, that's big, that's big. Yeah, and talk to us. Then you, you get your move to Bournemouth. Obviously, the manager brings you down to Bournemouth and you get another move. Like the family, at, th at this point, is the family still moving with you? Everyone just... Yeah, 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 everyone's moving, man. Yeah. It was it was more easy. It's, down here is different because it's a great place to live. Mm. Great for kids, okay. great for family. But... Obviously, growing up in London all my life, it's city, isn't it? Mm. And when you move to Manchester, it's like a smaller London. Mm. So it's good. Down here, it's completely different, bro. It's slower. Um, but like I say, getting away from everything, it's good. It's a good place to live, man. But <laughs> transition was transition was good, man. Like, here, it's like a community club. So mm. girls get along, all the boys get along, and families interlink and it's good stuff man it's good yeah, that's 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 good that's good so so when um so when you want food then where's the place to go when you're in bournemouth you know what there's a jerk cut down there you know there's some yard food here what is that what, like dude is that no 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 i'm not talking a turtle i'm not talking a turtle beach or turtle bay whatever it's called <laughs> i'm talking turkey. proper <laughs> proper proper yard food bro <laughs> Proper things. Turtle Beach, you know, Gina, don't kill me. I always said Turtle Beach. <laughs> you know why I said Turtle Beach? Can I turn this camera on? Yeah. I was playing. This is my Turtle Beach right there, bro. <laughs> this is my Turtle Beach. Too much into war zone, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, proper stuff? Proper stuff in that? Proper stuff, bro. Proper yeah. stuff. Yeah. Good stuff, man. About, about who's, who's chefing when, when you're not going out? Who's, who's at home chefing? Yeah, I'm a chef as well, you know. A chef. What? You chef? No. chef. But but come on, the family cooks and the missus cooks and yeah. But I'm I'm don't get twisted. I can do my thing. Uh cool. I just say you you finish training. Obviously, the kids are home. You play with the kids a bit and that. So what would you chef up quick thing if he was meant to like just chef something up? Now basic, you know. I'm if if I have to personally chef and it's quick and I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm going chicken, chicken and pasta, man. Pesto pasta, though. No spag bro. Pesto yeah. pasta. Okay, okay. Just quick thing. I'm on a pre-match, a quick pre-match thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I, when you're leaving, when you're leaving, obviously, more times, premiership clubs and certain clubs, you go, you go meet, um, you meet at the club or have food at the club for pre-match, no? Or sometimes you have it at home, then you go to the... You know what? we got a choice, you know. we got, mm. obviously, the chefs in there. So, if you want to get in a bit earlier and have something, you can do that. Otherwise, you can stay, have your IE yard, and just come in normal time, ready to go in the changing room. If it was, if it was, if it was up to you, yeah, suits or not nah. for games, <laughs> trackies all day. I hate suits, bruv. Man, you come off the pitch, you're sweating. You have to tie up your tie again. Yeah, I yeah. hate that, man. I'm comfort, comfort like, over anything. What's it like at Birmingham? Is it a choice, like, or sometimes you have to come in in suits, and it depends. Nah, bruv, trackies all day. Yeah. Trackies, standard. See, I was the same. You know, when you're playing games, you have to do your tie and 
do the belt and you come off, you do it. Then after the game, you have a shower yeah. and, that, and you have to do your time. That's all long. Nah, when, you, when you're when you leaving your yard, you're smart, you feel good, you feel sharp. Yeah, yeah. But when you have to hang your, you hang up all your shirt and make sure your trousers is folded up and you come <laughs> off the pitch and you have to go through tying up your tie again, it's long, man. It's long. No, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's cool. So, um, moving forward, like, you've had, um, you enjoyed your time at Bournemouth. Obviously, like, you've had a couple of injuries, touch wood, that won't happen again. That, like, for you, like, what, what do you want to do now? Just get back on the pitch and play games. Yeah, that's it, man. Just, well, no, I, even... I know, I know, and I know everyone that knows you know how good you are. It's just unfortunate with the injuries in that, but you know, you got the whips on lock, you're running down the wing and everything. Like, what's it for you? Mm. Like, what do you want to do? Do you know what? I just play, man. Mm. Play. Same same as when I was a kid up until now, just play, man. I've had so many injuries. Like, I've had a, one or two more serious ones in my knee, but then I've had the, the ones that, you know, the ones that keep you out for three weeks or a month yeah. and just end your season. Yeah. to get going again so just game by game man as long as I play stay healthy I enjoy it man I enjoy it obviously you've played against some big big names big big players in your football career who who would you say has been one of your toughest opponents that you're thinking wow man I can't even get past this guy you know <sighs> Kyle Walker bruv he's a nightmare bruv yeah <laughs> he's a nightmare bruv well, not, you know one of them people you because he's so fast and he's so strong, yeah. even if you go past him, he's getting back at you. So it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, bruv. But there's, 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 there's people who you, you won't even think like they're that serious. Mm. But you know they're just experienced. They get their distances right. Yeah. So You know when you want to go past them, but their distance is right. So if you knock it, they're there. And they're, 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 they're more experienced ones. Mm. They're just headaches. But just natural <laughs> nightmare, probably... Oh, someone said Wan Bissaka. I ain't played again. Oh, I have. Ch- no, nah, not fully though. Mm. But no, nah, Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker. Who would you say is one of the best players you played with? With. Oh. It's a tough one. I know it's, it's, it's a tough one, but there's so many players, you, good players you played with. On sheer, sheer ability. Yeah. Sheer ability, Jack Wilshire. Mm. On sheer ability, yeah. What's Technical, that? bruv. Techno, don't lose the ball. He puts his, he's got little, he's got little, his little body, isn't it? Yeah, big, yeah. but he's like wide. He's got big quads. Once he puts his body in the way, bro, he's a myth. You ain't getting the ball back, bro. And he's clever, isn't it? He's technical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's technical, man. He, he, he's a baller, bro. He's good, man. He's 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 another one that, like like I said, he's one of my favorite players as well. But it's unfortunate that he's had a couple of big injuries. Yeah, yeah. Big so, like, obviously, we've touched upon a lot of things now. Junior, best eleven so far players that you played with to finish with. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you could have fired me over a couple couple prompts. I might have. I don't know about that, bro. Best eleven. Boy, I don't even know, man. A couple <laughs> people are going to get angry. <laughs> hey, look at Fraff. You see Fraff there? i got to be in there. <laughs> Boy, I don't know, man. I, I genuinely... I played with so many people over the years. I only played for three, three clubs, but so many people within those times. Zav said, Zav said, Zav said, surely I'm in there. <laughs> Come on, Zav. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know, man. I don't even think I can do that, bro. Best 11. I've done, done it with everyone. I've done it with Jack. I've done it with everyone. It was tough for them, but you get me. <laughs> they got it done. From Starting from goalkeeper. I can't even. That's what. That's the fact. I can't even think, bro. Um... I might go Arta, oh, Boric right now, you know. He was underrated. Yeah. He's a proper, proper shot stopper. Serious. Um, right back. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I can see my teammates just lining me up right now as well. <laughs> um, I like Adam Smith, man. Smudge. Big. Serious. Serious. Um, wow, this might be a wow, you know. <laughs> this could be a wow. Nathan Ake, for sure. Centre back. Yeah, left side centre back. Um, left back. Whether this one's hurting your head. <laughs> but I, I, I all got to do the second centre half. I don't know, man. I got Steve Cook. I got Frano. I got a couple at West Ham. I played with. <laughs> it's hurting, bro. <laughs> Left back up. Oh my days. Do you know what? I'm going to put Smudge left back. I played with Trips, Kieran Trips at, at Burnley for three years. Am I mad? Mm, 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 mm. Big player. Another big, big player. Um, Centre half. Someone's going to hurt, man. <laughs> I say either between Steve Cook and Simon Francis. And I might have even forgot someone and I'm going to get shot <laughs> after. Um, right. Middle, I'll probably play with the three then. Mark Noble sitting, Jack mm. Wilshire and Scott Parker. Big three. That's a big three right there, you know. Scott Parker, he's underrated. Bro. He mm. might, I don't know, he's up there. Serious player. Very, very, very serious. Um... Up front. <sighs> Cullen Wilson down the middle. Mm. Josh King on the right. Daniel Sturridge on the left. That's it then. Big team, big team. But there's so many people I missed out before. It's 11, isn't it? What can you do, bro? What can you do? Uh, people's people. Oh, someone said Defoe. Do you see what I mean? <coughs> when you put on the spot, yeah, you see when you put on the spot, you forget about people, man. Do you mean Defoe scored one of the most goals, Premier League goals in history? Mm. Someone said Defoe plays basketball, yeah? <laughs> bro, I might have to put Jammer in there, you know. What swap Jammer, Jammer for who? That's what I'm saying. Cow is serious, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I have to go four four two, man. I put them both up front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A big, that's a big eleven. That's a big eleven still. Big team. Hey, Junior. Listen. Now, like I say, I wish you nothing but the best, bro. Come back firing. Get your games. Score goals. And get. Okay. I wish the best for all my people done playing football and that. And hope hope that the family and everyone stays safe. Thank you for coming on, my bro. I knew, bro. Always, bro. Always in the time. Take Anytime. care. Love, brother. Love, Love man. Love.